This week's artist to be inspired by is French master Suzanne Valadon. Valadon lived between the years 1865 and 1938. She was an artist whose rich contribution to the early 20th century art is her provocative and witty paintings. Her artworks boldly reflect female desire, the conflicts of marriage and motherhood, and a woman's experience of her own physicality. Suzanne Valadon was marked by poverty from childhood. As a daughter of an unmarried laundry servant who did not know her father, she had to support herself from when she was nine years old. She drew income as a housemaid and artist's model, posing for Pierre Auguste Renoir, Toulouse Lautrec, Edgar Degas, and Amadeo Modigliani. While cleaning their houses or posing for them, Valadon learned from the masters until she was able to confront the odds and reach the level of a successful artist at a time when women faced countless obstacles to reach professional success. She finally began to make a living from her art. Valadon was the first self-taught woman artist to exhibit at the Salon of Société Nationale de Beaux-Arts. Among all Valadon's paintings, what is the most striking and inspirational to us is her portrayal of nudity. Her canvases are rich with intimate domestic scenes. Her subject matters are unmistakably feminine. Through her daring female portraits and nudes, she developed a distinctive pictorial language characterized by strong lines and bold coloration. Susan Valadon's art and lifestyle challenged much of the social behavior codes. She was a courageous woman who used her own life experience to create a body of work that portrays the 20th century woman with pure honesty. She exploited the nude male, which was a taboo for bourgeois female painters. She confronted the subject daringly in several monumental paintings, including Adam and Eve, in which she bravely painted herself naked next to a young man. This is a work that was unprecedented in being the first work by a woman artist that depicts the male and female nude together. In another monumental painting, Casting the Net, she reflects different materializations of the male form, active and passive, idealized and unidealized, as she invites viewers to admire the male figure with pure sensitivity. Despite her accomplishments, Valadin's art has received limited attention outside France. It was only in 2019 that Barnes Foundation dedicated a solo exhibit to Suzanne Valadon for the first time in an American institution. Susan Valadon died of a stroke in 1938 at the age of 72. Among the friends who attended her funeral were Georges Brock, Pablo Picasso, and Andre Durain. Sous le ciel de Paris s'envole une chanson. Elle est née d'aujourd'hui dans le cœur d'un garçon. Sous le ciel de Paris marche des amoureux. Bonheur se construit sur un air fait pour eux. 
Sous le pont de Bercy, un philosophe assis, deux musiciens, quelques badauds, puis les gens par Sous le ciel de Paris jusqu'au soir vont chanter. d'un peuple épris de sa vieille cité près de Notre-Dame parfois pour un drame oui mais à Paname tout peut s'arranger quelques rayons du ciel d'été l'accordéon d'un marinier L'espoir fleurit sous la fleuve joyeux. Mmh. Il endort dans la nuit les clochards et les gueux. Mmh. Sous le ciel de Paris, les oiseaux du bon Dieu. Mmh. Viennent du monde entier pour bavarder entre eux. Et le ciel de Paris a son secret pour lui. Depuis vingt siècles, il était pris de notre île Saint-Louis. Quand elle lui sourit, il met son habit bleu. Quand il pleut sur Paris, c'est qu'il est malheureux. Quand il est trop jaloux de ses millions d'amants, mmh, il fait gronder sur son tonnerre éclatant. Mais le ciel de Paris n'est pas longtemps cruel. Mmh, pour se faire pardonner, il offre un arc-en-ciel. Mmm.